I like to use hot glue for the assembly. The important thing is to make sure that all the pieces are balanced. All right, here's my finished airplane. Uh, some tips for good construction are to mark the exact center of the wing so you know exactly where to place it. And uh, just take your time and make sure you got plenty of glue on there so it doesn't fall apart while it's flying. Um, also, uh, when we're done assembling the plane, it's still not ready. Um, if you hold the, hold the airplane by the wings, it should be uh, level. And as you can see here, the tail is way too heavy. So I need to add weight to the front. You can do this with about anything, old nuts and bolts or whatever. I just take some welding rod and cut it into you know, like one and a half inch pieces and we just tape it to the sides here until we get enough weight to balance the airplane. So I put three welding rods on one side, three on the other. Just tape them temporarily. Now when I hold it by the wings, the airplane is level. That means the uh, center of mass is right here under the wing and that helps it fly better. Um, this is just a rough estimate. You might still need to add or take away weights after you watch how it flies. Okay, my test flight was good, so I'm going to leave those how they are. I'll probably put some more tape on it to um, make it so they don't fall out. And let me show you something else really quick. This right here is a different kind of tape. It's aluminum, and it makes great um, flaps for your airplane. So what I can do is I can cut off a small piece like that. Then when we tear off the back, you just basically have a, a sticky piece of aluminum. And if I put it on the tail, now watch how I do this. I'm just going to put a little bit on there like that. And I'm going to fold it over. So it sticks to the other side, yet still pops out. Now that becomes a flap that we can adjust. So if the airplane is turning one way or the other, we can adjust this to fix that. You can also put flaps on the back wing to adjust the pitch. And you can put flaps on the, the main wing here to control the roll. And then this one back here controls the yaw. So they're not necessary, but if you want to put them on there for uh, adjustments to make the airplane do different things and to make, uh, make it so it flies straight, uh, they're, they're great to put on there, but each time it lands and crashes, sometimes they, they move and you need to remember where the best location is. All right, now I'm going to take you into the commons area or the cafeteria to show you how it flies. All right, the way I like to grade the airplane is to just have the students fly it and uh, for every foot that it flies I give them a point uh, out of 50 points so it has to fly at least 50 feet. Now each tile is a foot so if you were to count the tiles it would have to fly over the first blue line and make it almost to the second blue line. Alright, it went past the blue line, uh, so that would have passed, but it did curve to one side a little bit. That can be fixed with flaps. Let's try this again. Okay, after that flight, I moved the, the flap from the tail to the wing. I angled it down slightly. That'll make that side of the airplane lift up and fix the, uh, that roll problem. As you can see, it made it go to the right, so I probably did the flap a little too much. But as you can see, you can make fine adjustments, and it helps students see how 
uh, flaps on an airplane can uh, control it and give it direction.